A lot of people out here, it still amazes me, they believe the government care about them. What the government wants is slaves. Slavery's not gone anywhere, right? So the old school idea of slavery, let's talk about slavery. A government would get slaves, make them work for free and build things. That's slavery. So they've stopped doing that now. So what do they do now? They get people, make them build things for money, but the government print all the money. So if a government can create as much as they want of something from thin air, and you'll give up your life for this thing they can create from thin air as much as they want, you are still their slave. That's it. You used to be a slave and you'd work all day and at the end you got food in the house. Now you work all day, you get money and you spend all your money on a food and a house. Like nothing, nothing, slavery is still here, my friends. Nothing's changed, right? Nothing's changed. And what they want is they want slaves. They want slaves who are gonna comply and pay their taxes. And whatever kind of indoctrination or societal programming they can instill inside of people to can keep them doing that, they're going to do. Anything it takes to stop people waking up and realizing, whoa, let's forget Corona. Let's forget locking us all in our houses and taking our business away. I'm paying how much tax? What? If you actually wake up and look around you, you realize you're being destroyed in real time. It's all a lie. The th idea that government cares about them is a lie. The government is never gonna tell you anything that's gonna wake you up. The government's gonna teach you things that are gonna make you subservient and compliant. They're gonna tell you all this crap about p identifying as a panda and all this other is not an accident. When they can convince the average person on the street to pretend that some other person is a panda because they said so, you are fully in the slave mindset. When it comes on the news, if someone says they're a panda, you have to agree they're a panda, otherwise you are racist and a bigot. And you go, okay, you are done. You are now full slave mode. And that's all they want. Because every single one of us, to some degree, is an empty vessel. We're all programmed. Yeah. So you, there's no such thing as escaping the slave mind. You must just to some degree understand who is programming you and understand if you really want those characteristics. Most people are repeating uh, opinions. And I'm saying, where did you get that opinion from? They can't remember where they got it from. They don't know who even told them. They don't know why they so fervently believe in it. They're just yeah. told they're programmed. You need to genuinely analyze your brain, defrag every single opinion you strongly have and identify where it came from and if that person has your best interest at heart. And what they're trying to do, especially with young men, is program them because we're all empty vessels. And what you have to do as an adult, as a parent, is to program your child stronger than all of society. Mm. It's not an easy job because all of society, from the YouTube videos to the TV shows to the school, every single thing is trying to program them in one direction. You have to combat that. And that's not an easy job. And if you just sit there and get lazy about it, you will lose. We're yeah. all programmed. All of us are programmed True. to some degree. When Rome was losing, all they did was have endless circuses to keep you distracted from the losing war. The, the world we live in today, they try very hard to prevent you from creating your reality. You're constantly distracted by everything. And it's hard to focus on nearly anything. And, and they do that on purpose. For you to go stand out in the rain and protest, that takes focus. They want you distracted. They want arguments in the household. They want blacks to hate the whites, Republicans to hate the Democrats. They want us to argue with each other, for all of us to hate our neighbor, and us all to be so distracted and selfish and self-absorbed that we can't think beyond ourselves. They are trying to convince you that you should act how you feel. You should show more of your feelings. If you feel this way, you should show it. If you want to cry, cry. Look, I have no problem with guys crying. Sometimes guys cry, right? My dad died, I cried. Sometimes you cry, right? But what I'm saying is the reason they're trying to bring out emotionality in you is because of exactly what Myron said. Most of the time, you don't feel like doing the things you're supposed to do. But the true masculine frame throughout history was doing the things they didn't want to do, but they knew they had to do because they had honor and duty. That's what honor and duty means. Do you think the men on the Titanic wanted to stay on the Titanic? No, we're men. We have to stay. We're scared, but we must. It's our duty to let the women and children on the lifeboats. Yeah. This is masculine duty.